ICC's visit to Libya marks a significant advance in the court's investigative activities. I am therefore pleased to report that in March of 2018, members of my Libya team traveled to the country for the first time on, on Libyan territory since June of 2012. The value of the opportunity to work in the territory where alleged crimes have been or are being committed cannot be overemphasized. The case of Mahmoud Mustafa al wilfali who allegedly played a role in the murder of 33 people, demonstrates the crucial importance of the timely arrest of individuals subject to the ICC's warrants of arrest. Mr. al wilfali remained at large and appears to have continued to act as a commander in the al Saika Brigade. Regrettably, there are now credible allegations that in the period since the warrant was issued, he has committed murders, further murders, which may be prosecuted by my office as war crimes under the Rome Statute. Libyan Ambassador El Mahdi El Majabi, in his address to the Council, noted the delay in Libya's collaboration with the ICC. We are aware of the delay when it comes to prosecuting the accused. This does not mean that the national justice system does not wish to punish those responsible for crimes. Rather, it is a delay due to the security situation in Libya, a situation that prevented the Office of the Prosecutor of the ICC from conducting direct investigations in the Libyan territory. ICC warrants of arrest remain outstanding for the son of former Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi, Saif Gaddafi, as well as the former head of the Internal Security Agency of Libya, Al-Tuhami Mohamed Khaled. Beryl Oro, CGTN.